You're live. Good morning. It's Tammy and Chris with Collard Valley Cooks. Happy 2022. We've had a lot go on at the end of the year. And if you've been praying for May, we appreciate it. She gets out of the hospital today. She broke her leg. Uh, but she's doing good. And she broke both of the lungs, le bones in the lower leg. And uh, But anyway, she's doing really good. She's getting to come home today, and we appreciate your prayers. Uh, so continue to pray for her in 2022. We are about to make some delicious cinnamon roll biscuits for breakfast. I am doing the traditional New Year's Day meal, but we will be cooking it and recording it for you to post tomorrow. All right, because it's more of a long, drawn-out thing. So I thought, man... Let's get together this morning and have some delicious breakfast. So, we're going to start out with a third cup of sugar and four tablespoons of cinnamon. We're going to be making some delicious cinnamon roll biscuits. And this is one of my favorites. I'm a cinnamon lover. This is a lot of cinnamon, but I like a lot of cinnamon in my cinnamon rolls. Which cookbook is that in? You remember? It's not. I don't believe this is in a cookbook. I don't know that it oh, is. I think. Huh? I was thinking it was. I don't think so. If you know, y'all let us know. <laughs> I don't think so. It's yeah. been a while since we made a cookbook, and we will be making a new cookbook in 2022. Mm. Our last, cook, our last cookbook was, has been over two years ago, so we have a lot of recipes that are not in the cookbook that need to be put in a cookbook. But you can see this mixture right here has a lot of cinnamon in it. Let me see how soft my butter is. I'm get it just a little bit softer. And then we are going to... Um, Start mixing up our biscuits, all right? So you're going to use two cups of self-rising flour. This is a half cup. So we'll be using four of these. So I'll mix them up just like a regular biscuit, this part. And I do use buttermilk. And um, then we just roll them out like a cinnamon roll, okay? And make it... Good old biscuit out of it. You're going to use about a quarter cup of shortening. And a lot of people will ask, can I use butter? You sure can. But look, uh, shortening actually makes a fluffier biscuit. And if you want your cinnamon rolls to look fluffy, we're going to put plenty of butter in them. We're using a stick of butter extra. So um, just keep that in mind. So I like to use shortening in the actual bi biscuit mix. I'm a shortening biscuit girl. I think they're, I just like them better. Um, but now you can use butter if you'd like. Mm -hmm. I was going to show them the white lily sign, but you had moved it. I did move my white lily sign. I put up my, I'm going to tell you this right now. Um, we had an amazing year in 2022. I'm going to give you some stats in a minute, and I give God all the glory. So I put my amazing grace cross up. Um when I redid the kitchen after I took down my Christmas stuff. Sure did. But White Lily's still there, and White Lily is actually displayed up here oh. right now. So I, I thought, you know, huh. hey, I'll put my cross up. Yeah, we always want to give a shout out to White Lily. I get messages all the time. Matter of fact, I read one this morning. She said, I've never tried White Lily. I decided to give it a try. I ordered it. She said, and I have to say, those were the best biscuits I've ever made. Mm -hmm. It is really good flour for biscuits. If for some reason you can't get White Lily, you can order it on Kroger.com. If you can't get it there, and you just want, if you're just kind of curious, you can always buy some Swan's Cake flour and make some biscuits out of them because uh, that's about the same thing, really. It's about the same thing as cake flour, close to it, okay? And that's why our biscuits turn out as good as they do. So you're going to add your buttermilk a little bit at a time until you no longer see your flour in the bottom of the 
bowl just like that. I'm gonna get my sifter out. And some people are asking about stuff. If any stuff that you see or any recipe that we have is on CalderValleyCooks.com. So you can go there and look up the stuff. Yes, we have great resources on mm -hmm. there. We work really hard to provide you guys with everything all, to answer all your questions right there on the website. So all you got to do is go to www.CalderValleyCooks.com and you will find it. It's there. It is there. We're going to put this out on the counter. Put a little flour on it. I'm going to just knead it a few times. And I will post this recipe on, uh, it is on under the bread section on the website. So if you go to uh, recipes, the tab on the website, and then click the bread category. Now look, there's a lot of breads. I've probably got 50 recipes because I do a lot of different things. Um, just scroll until you see these. And then there should be a printable recipe for you that you can print out. Oh, I think I'm going to do this just a little bit more. Since it's cinnamon roll. Well. Because it don't feel right. Yeah. All right, so there it is. We're going to roll these out, and really and truly, you want to roll them more in a rectangular shape than a round shape for cinnamon rolls, okay? Awesome day! Both of Chris's favorite teams won their games last night. So if y'all are roll tied, then roll tied. If you are go dogs, then go dogs. You're gonna be playing again. Yes. Wait. Okay, so you're gonna roll your biscuit dough out um, till it's about a quarter inch or so, I guess you'd say. Get down there for it may be. See. Yeah. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some butter. And I let it get pretty soft. So what I'll do is you were supposed to reserve about a quarter stick of the butter um, to use on the top after they've been baking for a little while. So what I'm going to do is um, let that liquid stay down in there for the top. We're going to get the soft butter out of here and put on this layer. Some of y'all may not be roll tied or go dogs, so. That's all right. I'm sorry for the rest of y'all. <laughs> so you just spread your butter out on the top, just like that? Yeah, boy. Mm -hmm. Good. And then you're going to take the cinnamon, and you want to be make sure you use plenty of it, especially if you're one of those that likes, what is it, Cinnabon cinnamon rolls mm -hmm. that has all the cinnamon in them. Oh, yeah. Make sure you put plenty in there, okay? Because that's the best part. It's what makes them taste so good. Now, I'm a southern girl. Grew up in northwest Georgia. Mama didn't make fresh bread. We ate biscuits and cornbread. And save a little bit of your cinnamon for the top, okay? And so, um, I am impatient. I am. When it comes to making a fresh cinnamon roll, I do have a recipe in the recipe book, and I do have a video mm -hmm. on how to do it. But I like my cinnamon rolls fast. Mm -hmm. This is a great way to have cinnamon rolls fast. <laughs> yeah. uh, so you're just going to take it and you're going to roll it. And it's okay if it breaks or spills or anything like that. The messier, the tastier. Okay? No worries there. And I've got to get my bit, my pan out. I don't even have a pan out. We got everything out, but except the pan, didn't we, baby? Yeah, we need the pan. I think, trying to decide which pan to use. I guess I'll use this one. Now, a couple people ask, can you use canned... Biscuits. 
Like you can and do this? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. How about that? Go for it. For a shortcut. Absolutely. So I'm going to grease my skillet, and I'm going to get me a butter knife. That's not it. Uh-oh. It's coming hard to see. I'm finding these. These are rated knives, just like your, you grew up watching your mama use. Remember these? Remember these? All my knives are Rada, and there is a bread knife, and there it be. I, I'm not even going to wash my hands, y'all. Y'all just, we're just cooking. We want to get these in the oven, okay? So we're going to take a bread knife, just spread them out like I just did until you think they're about the same width, and then you're going to slice them like that. About three quarters of an inch. And they can do it like with sweet milk too. Some people ask. Oh, absolutely. Like you could just use regular milk. I think I had a couple people ask if they could use that that ghee butter, ghee but whatever. You can use anything you want to. It's going to work and it's going to be good. Yep. Sweet milk's good in anything that's sugary anyway. Regular milk is what I call sweet milk. We grew up calling it sweet milk. You know what? I want to make sure that's got plenty on the bottom of it. Yeah. I don't want them sticking. Nope. Yeah, they get pretty sticky, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, all the sugar and the cinnamon. Look at that. Don't that look good? And if you're starting out a diet on the new year, you can start it tomorrow. <laughs> Getting your cinnamon rolls today and tomorrow. Yeah, me and Chris have been bad over the holidays. I, yeah. I do have to say, everybody's sent us cookies and candy, yeah. and we got to get woo, back on. We've been the, eating the stuff. Got to get back on the what do you call it wagon. I was makes a good bit of cinnamon rolls, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I'm gonna just. Put this on these. Because I can. Y'all know when I can, I do. All right, I put them kind of close together um, so that they would kind of cling to each other and rise. I'm going to rinse my hands off real quick. I'm going to. Chris, why don't you place those in the oven? We're going to place those in the oven at 425 degrees. I'm going to pick up these pork chops over my And we're going to cook those for 15 minutes. Then we're going to take them out and put some butter on them and put them back in there for another 10. Okay. So we're going to be in here for a little while. Uh, Chris can set that timer for 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and make all this sausage because I've had it laid out and it's stalled. Normally I keep the sausage, we like swaggerty sausage, and normally I keep it in the freezer. And then I just take it out, frozen, and cook it frozen, um, as many patties as I need to. Look at that beautiful skill. I'm so excited. And we'll have some, well, I mean, we won't eat all these. But we'll, we'll have some extra in the uh, refrigerator. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, y'all. You know what? What? I made some fried pies several months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I made some meaty that me and Chris froze them. Yeah. We wrapped them in some foil and put them in the freezer in a bag. All right. So last night, Chris says, what are we going to have for dessert? I said, I don't know. He says, we got some fried pies in the freezer. Yeah. So he took them out, put them in that. the microwave for two minutes, mm -hmm. then placed them in our air fryer at 350 for eight minutes, and they were outstanding. They were perfect. And I had them with vanilla ice cream last mm -hmm. night. Yummy. Mm -hmm. So, um... Free stuff. Freeze your stuff. And then it's convenient when you want to eat a bite. I'm actually going to freeze some stuff for my dad. Um, we're supposed to go up there in January. We'll see. With May like she is, I don't know if I'll get to go. But if I can, we're going for a week in January. And I'm going to see Daddy. And I want to make him another fresh coconut cake. I'm going to make a friend of mine, Bob, a fresh coconut cake. And I'm going to freeze them. And Daddy likes for me to freeze them in containers so that he can take them out of the freezer and thaw them and eat them. Hmm. And uh, 
you know, cookies, cake, any pastries, all that stuff that way. Yep. And it works really good. All right, look at those biscuits. They're already starting to puff up. Yep. They are, they are. And I have some uh, smoked pork chops that we are going to have today. And yes, they're already cooked, cooked I think. Uh, heat in three minutes. They're fully cooked. We're going to have these today. Um, we've got some ham that I'm going to use in my black eyed peas and uh, collard greens. Uh, this is what I have because me and Chris are by ourselves. I don't buy a big ham, you know, anymore. Uh, so black eyed peas cook really fast. A lot of people think you have to soak them. But black eyed peas, um, you can bring them to a boil with some good bouillon and some ham. And, and after you boil them for about 10 minutes, turn them off and, and push them back. And let them sit about an hour. Um, and they will cook up so fast. Uh, they also have a lot of holes, so black eyed peas is the only dried bean I will not put in my instant pot or pressure cooker. Um, and then of course I'm going to make some delicious collard greens today because it's New Year's. And we'll show you guys all of that tomorrow, but you know what? If you want to see it right now and you want to see how I cook it right now so that you can get started, you can go on YouTube and there's a playlist, or you can go on the website on the homepage. There's a playlist that shows all of my favorites on New Year's Day, including peach cobbler Everything. and sweet potato pie Everything. and sweet potato cobbler. Mm -hmm. And boy, am I going to make some sweet potatoes today, too. Hmm. I bought some rutabagas. I don't know if I'm going to make them or not, but I bought some. I like them. Y'all just have to see what I come up with later today. Mm -hmm. I haven't cooked for y'all in a while, so I was going to cook all day today. Mm -hmm. Make a good day of it. That way I can go see my baby. See how her leg is doing. You're just tuning in, they broke her leg, bless her heart. And two places, uh, she has five incisions. Had to put a rod in, so bless her heart, she's going to have some... Uh, Long recovery time, so keep her in your prayers. And I hung up my cross stitch that you were sort of made me this year. Um, that's why Annie made it the top. And um, mm. this is this was actually done by a man. I believe his name's Don, unless I've forgotten. Uh, Y'all forgive me if I get your names wrong. I'm crazy most of the time. Um, but I hung these up in the kitchen too. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're taking the sausage off? Yeah. Sausage is done. If you're new to, um, you may not know it, but I have a, a problem with my recall. I am 52 years old, but I'm a cancer survivor. So I do have a problem uh, with my recall. So lots of times, even while I'm cooking, and I know it's not ideal, but, you know, God uh, led me to do this anyway because... If you, where there's a will, there's a way. Um, lots of times I say the wrong words, okay? Mm -hmm. And I also will say the wrong thing and the wrong measurement. Mm -hmm. I'll have it in my head, but I'll say something completely different. That's why I always refer you to my Re recipes. Yeah. We always okay? have it written down for you. Um, and I went through chemotherapy. It's been years ago, but that never went away, the brain fog or whatever they call it. So if you're new, please remember to look at our recipes and don't always go by what I say. Yep. And so many people, you know, are just, they get so upset over it, but they just don't realize yep. that uh, it's just how my brain works. Yep. I don't do it on purpose, I promise. Mm -hmm. And I even, I'm thinking the right thing in my head, I'm just, yep. it don't come out right. Like a while ago, she said skillet instead of, it was a pan. Oh, really? So, you know, there'll be people that'll, well, it's a skillet. Right. I mean, it's a pan, but that's, it's all right. But that's just how my brain works. Sorry about that, but I'm far from perfect. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't mean to say, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I should have said, no, you are. It's all right. <laughs> okay, so in the um, icing, I told you to use a cup and a half of powdered sugar, a tablespoon of milk, and a quarter stick of room temperature butter. Um, I may have to melt some more butter. Before it's over. I think you're. It's time, ain't it? Yep. 
it's time, it's time, it's time that I'm going to use this and we'll put some more in there okay. while we're waiting on these anyway. Uh, my, my things aren't hanging up here today for some reason. I got these as a gift too. Nice. Oh, that's one of those right. gloves. So let's put this right here so they can see it. All right. Now we're going to put a little bit of butter on them and we're going to slide them back in there. As if they don't have enough butter, but they probably don't. That one really got the butter. That's too covered. So these aren't done, but I like to take them out and butter them and put them back in there. All right? And you can use as much butter as you want. Just because I say a quarter cup, if you want to use a half cup. If you want to use a whole cup, use it. You make them taste good. All right, we're going to get them back in there. Then we're going to melt some more butter for our icing. Butter, butter, butter. Yep. I'm going to put them towards the back so that they brown a little bit. Okay. How long are they in there this time? Uh, eight minutes. Eight. Timer. Okay. Eight. Eight. I did something wrong. Yeah. Um, bake. Four. I'm baking no, these at four. a higher. I know that. I'm oh. baking these at a higher temperature, uh, so that y'all don't have to wait forever. I do that when I'm live sometimes. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. All right. I mean, if y'all weren't if y'all weren't on there, I'd bake them at 425. But because y'all are on here waiting, I'm baking them at 350. That way, we don't have to wait forever. 450. 450. See? I did it again. Do you want them at the same amount of time, the eight minutes? The eight minutes is correct. Okay, yes. all right. Okay. Gotcha. All right, there's a cup and a half of powdered sugar, mm -hmm. and we are going to melt a little bit of butter and put it in there. I say a quarter stick. We'll see if that's enough. And um, I'm going to melt it. I don't care that that cinnamon's already in that pan. I'm not going to dirty up another one because we're making cinnamon rolls. It's not going to hurt if our... Um, Icing has a little bit of cinnamon in it. Yeah, uh, you should never, like a lot of people uh, may feel, quarter cup is four, that's what I thought, um, may feel like, um, you know, because I do have a hard time with words and stuff, you know, that would deter me from having a show. But I also have a lot of physical conditions and I can stand here long enough to cook for y'all in the show, but I can't do what I used to do, and that is cook all day. I used to have a meal on the on the table every night, three vegetables, a meat, and a dessert, didn't I, Chris? Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was nothing to me to do that. Um, absolutely nothing. I mean, it was super easy for me to do that, but now uh, I just can't do that anymore. Um, but I can get in here and cook long enough to provide y'all a video. It is a blessing. So I don't let it get me down. Um, so if you need encouragement or um, just remember that even sometimes when things aren't perfect and we've been through a few things, we still got it in us to keep on trucking, right? Some days you can, some days you can't. Right, some days I have yeah. good days and most days I usually overdo it. Mm -hmm. All right, so it said room temperature butter. I'm cheating. We're going to throw that in there. Okay. okay. And then also a tablespoon of milk. I am going to use canned evaporated milk. Tablespoon? Um, yeah. Okay. And this is a half tablespoon. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, I didn't call for vanilla. I may add that to that recipe since it's not in the recipe book. I don't think it's in the recipe book yet. Mm -hmm. um, so I think I'm going to go over there and grab the vanilla and throw some vanilla in here too, okay? Mm -hmm. Why not? Make it more better. Watkins vanilla. It's what my mama used. Did your mama use Watkins vanilla? I don't, I'm don't. i not associated with them or sponsored by them. I need to call them and see if they'll sponsor me. Because <laughs> I like it. Yeah. So we'll throw some Miller in here. Mom always used the top. Did your mama use the top to measure? My mama did. When I was growing up, mama didn't use measuring cups. She didn't use measuring spoons. Uh, and she knew how to cook. And she was actually a catering wedding cake maker and she did a good job. Uh, when my granny wrote down a recipe, she would write teacup, a teacup of sugar and she would spell it T-E-A and then cup, C-U-P. So she would literally just grab a teacup and mm -hmm. measure. And people get all bent out of shape and think that everything has to be just perfect to bake. And it does not. It does not. So don't worry so much. Just get in there and get started. Back in the day, nobody had all that stuff. Go for it. Just go for it. Look how pretty that looks. Now... I did something the other day. I don't know if y'all watched it or not. Many people didn't. But y'all, I made a brown sugar icing to ice the tops of brownies. Now, I will have to say they were super sweet. Mm -hmm. But that icing was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. It was so good. I will be browning some more butter and making some brown butter icing to ice. Oh, it would be so good on a chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. Or another one, black walnut. Woo! Honey. So there's our icing for our cinnamon rolls. We're about to get them out of the oven. Let's grab them up some eggs. Y'all ready? Okay. Sausage ready. We got three minutes on these. By the time I scramble the eggs, be ready to go. I'm going to be ready to go. Let me get my bacon grease thing. Pour this up in it. Bacon grease, sausage grease, it's all the same to me. Putting it in my container. These are on the website. As far as I know, they're not sold out. I don't know for sure. I don't think all the colors are available. They have different colors. These are this is Aisha Curry's bacon grease holder. And uh, we we <clears throat> were privileged enough to meet Aisha on a uh, show that we did. And y'all, I have to say that she was such a little sweet lady. I have to say, she was super sweet and uh, very nice to work with. If you don't know who that is, that's Stephon Curry's wife. He's a famous basketball player. All right. Don't throw a little butter in here and then uh, scramble us up some eggs. I'm not even going to mix them up first. I'm just going to throw them in there and mix them. Because you know what? All my bowls are dirty. Yeah. Let's go for it. A minute left. We're going to time this just perfect. Time it right. So I'm going to set those uh, cinnamon rolls right here. When they come out of the oven, we're going to ice them, make us a plate. We're going to have some scrambled eggs. Forks up. I mean, forks, scissors. Forks or scissors. How many do you want, baby? Two? Yeah. We'll make ourselves two eggs a piece. It's a celebration day, New Year's Day. Now, if you want to know, did my mama do it this way? No, she didn't. My mama put her eggs in a bowl and she took out the little white things and all that with a fork. Hmm. But I'm like my granny bee. I don't worry about all that. I just scramble them up. I like a lot of pepper on my eggs. Now, 
I typically take a fork and I don't scrape my pan. I just go right on the top of my eggs and I scramble them in the skillet. And the fork, these never touch the bottom of the skillet. Just the bottom of the fork, barely, okay? And that's how I do my eggs. Just like that. All right, we got a beep. We are ready with these. Ready. Oh, that's hot. Daddy? That wasn't thick enough. What? All right. Oh, the... Uh... Oh, I got scrambled eggs. I was thinking, what are you talking about? Wasn't thick enough, but they talking about the glove. Yeah. I got you. I should have grabbed that glove that Rhonda got me for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Rhonda. Thick glove. Isn't that a song? Help me, Rhonda. I think it is, yeah. Help me, Rhonda. Yeah. Help, help me, Rhonda. That's I should it. have put on that glove, Rhonda, mm -hmm. and let you help me. Yeah. Lord, I don't know what I think. All right, we're gonna make a plate right here. This is gonna be our plate, so I'm gonna put some eggs on it. Big plate. Oh. A show-off plate. Show-off plate. Even if it is broke, we'll pretend it ain't. Won't we? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. We're gonna put these on here. Swap sides. I am gonna want you thing. to get a really good close-up of me getting this on there, baby. Mm -hmm. For my video. Now, it's going to melt and get down in the cracks. Trust me. Because these are warm. Covered with ice. Hot enough to burn me. And that recipe makes plenty of it because it's a whole cup and a half of powdered sugar. Yeah, we'll have some ice and left over if you want to. But you probably don't. Probably want to use it all. It's just enough. Yep. For all of them. Boy, don't that look good? Now, if you want to go all out, you could put some cream cheese in it. But this is that would be a little over the top for me. I personally don't like cream cheese in everything like most people do. I like it a lot. But if you want to, have some cream cheese at room temperature. And make it a cream cheese icing mm -hmm. instead of using butter. Go for it. Right, Daddy? Yep. All right, we're going to get one of these bad boys out of here and put it on our pan. Any, mini, money, mo. This one's really pretty on the end. The middle ones are always the softest, you know. Right. Here's our fresh cinnamon roll biscuit. On a New Year's Day. We'll put two on this one. Hmm. I want them to be pretty for the picture. This one's really pretty, I think. Hmm. So, there is our breakfast. I'm going to open one of these and give them a try. I'll get one of these over here. You can see they got plenty of cinnamon on the inside and they're dark. And plenty of sugar. Because some people were worried because it was a biscuit, like there, there wasn't any sugar in the biscuit, but there's so much uh, sugar with everything else. There's there. sugar in the biscuit because there's... Oh, there was? In the cinnamon sugar, there's a third cup. Oh, I didn't know that. In the biscuit. Yeah. Oh, where you rolled it. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And there's icing on the top. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And butter. Yeah. And oh, my gosh, it's delicious. Plenty of stuff. Mmm. 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 So good. Look at all that cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Woo! One more thing real quick. Real 
YouTube stats for 2021. Our most watched videos. So if you haven't seen these, go to YouTube and watch them or search them on Facebook. Fresh Coconut Cake, number one in 2021. Italian Cream Cake, number two. 10 Minute Peanut Brittle, and it's still going. Corn on the Cob, Apple Fritters, and Salmon Patties. Those are our top five or six videos. Uh, we had 19,000 new subscribers in December, and we had 14.7 million views in the year of 2021 with over 2 million hours of watch time. That is amazing, and we thank all of you so much for making Collard Valley Cooks what it is, and of course the good Lord. Y'all have a wonderful day, and happy